always gunshots that took place. Yo, what up, crew? It's your boy, Jess Mike. And I got some breaking news for y'all, man. I don't know if y'all saw this, man, but this was, to me, this is really bad. This is really terrible. Um, a gunman in Aurora, Colorado, basically opened fire at the screening of The Dark Knight Rises. All right, it was at a midnight screening, and basically this cat just came in the movie theater with riot gear, gas mask, bulletproof vest, uh, gas tanks, and basically turned the gas tanks on people and opened fire, man. Twelve people shot, more than 38 people wounded. You know, it was a really bad thing. What I'm actually going to do is play an excerpt from the eyewitnesses that were there so you guys can hear for yourself, and then I'll come back after this. Twelve people are dead near Denver in a shooting massacre during a showing of the new Batman movie. This is the deadliest mass shooting since the tragedy at Virginia Tech. A suspected gunman is in custody. We're being told his name is uh, James Holmes, and he's 24 years old and from the town of North Aurora. We're also seeing an update to the number of people dead and wounded. We're now hearing that 12 people were killed and 38 people were wounded. This was clearly a terrifying situation for everyone who went to this movie theater. Uh, we're seeing some cell phone video that was taken almost immediately after the shooting as people tried to escape this theater in Aurora, Colorado. This all began around 12.30 this morning. Police say that Holmes was wearing a riot helmet, a gas mask, and a bulletproof vest. They say he was armed with a rifle and a handgun. Another gun was actually later found inside the theater. This is all according to police. Witnesses say that shooter appeared in the front of the theater, opened up some type of can. They heard a hissing sound, the room filled with smoke, and then that shooter opened fire. At first, some of these people actually thought the sounds of gunfire came from a theater next door. Of course, they later realized that this was this person in the front of the room. Um, some of the witnesses say that, you know, they actually thought it was a gunfight scene from that next door theater. The incident has left so many people in this community shaken up. I guess it was in Theater 8 that all the shooting started. She said um, bullets were flying through the wall, and a girl that um, was sitting next to her got hit in the jaw. I can't believe it's happening this close to home. My kids hang out here, you know? They could have been in that theater. It's just it's scary. At least one person that's now again, the suspect is, uh, police are telling us, is 24-year-old Andrew Holmes. Police are not sure about his motive or if the new Batman movie was targeted for any specific reason. They're also investigating two possible threats of explosives based on what Holmes told police. We're also concerned about explosives in the parking lot, hence the parking lot is completely sealed off. We have all the area bomb squad teams. We've had wonderful support from our law enforcement friends, uh, and we're just, as a precaution, checking all the cars in the parking lot for explosives. And right now, police are actually searching Holmes' apartment for any other possible bombs as well. That entire complex has been evacuated. And very understandably, many of the witnesses that you see here in these uh, pictures, they ran away from the theater after this happened, but detectives were able to find some of them, and they're now being interviewed at a local high school. The FBI is helping with this investigation, and the, pre the president issued a statement saying he is shocked and saddened by what took place, and he's pledged his support to help the victims here. Yeah, man, that just was the story right there, man. You know, 12 people shot, more than 38 people wounded. Uh, you know, this kind of thing is just senseless to me. It's just like senseless violence. Our people do these kind of things for a thrill or attention. My only hope is that we don't have any uh, copycat uh, shooters uh, during the coming days and weeks of the Batman uh, showing. Um, this is just something that was terrible, and I think it's marking something that is so good. Like, this movie is really so good, and to have something mar this movie is just really crazy and just really sad in general. My condolences, my heartfelt prayers go out to the family members who lost loved ones or who got injured, and this is just senseless. But, you know, you guys let me know what you think about this story in the comment box. If you've seen it, um, this is just real senseless, man. But, you know, let me know what you think. I want you guys' input. But until the next time, guys, this is your boy, Just Mike. And I will see you guys on the next one. All right.